was a bright spot in the sky that had a lot of people talking across the southern part of the state last night. That fireball went streaking across the sky, and now lots of those same people are asking, what was it? So, Casey Geraldo, everybody, what was it? The answer, a meteor. Okay. It was a meteor, and the Me Milwaukee Astronomical Society tells me that fireball isn't that uncommon. What is unusual, though, is that people actually saw it. It's not every day you see a fireball fly through the sky. It's the nature's fireworks. But it might be every week that it happens. A fireball the size of that one that we just saw in Madison probably happens every couple of weeks and probably even much more frequently. Corrector lens on that side. In fact, Gene Hansen from the Milwaukee Astronomical Society says even smaller meteors and debris hit the Earth constantly. They're very small. It's, it's when they get uh, larger, that's when they get to be much brighter and much more spectacular to see. He says yesterday's meteor isn't nearly as bright as this February 2013 meteor, shaking up a Russian town. Which Hansen says moved faster than 43,000 miles per hour. It was brighter, as bright or brighter than the sun when it came through. But this one doesn't even match the sun's counterpoint. It looked to my, my eye, it was about maybe half the brightness of the full moon, maybe a little bit less than that. Still, Hansen says this site was special since most people don't see much of the night sky. Generally speaking, because people are looking up, they usually see at least one meteor. And the less night sky that you see, the fewer meteors you're going to you're going to see. He tells me there is one familiar sight, which may mean you've had a sighting. A falling star is a is a meteor. Hansen tells me the one thing he wants to make sure everyone knows is that we are safe. No, There's no, no danger. danger from the meteor. Exactly. Casey spent pretty much the better part of the afternoon <laughs> looking around the building for a basketball. This basketball is and very important. And we found important. one, so this better pay off. Go ahead. It does. So this is the size a meteor has to be okay. to pose any danger. So as it really? goes through the atmosphere, it kind of burns off from friction and sciencey things. Okay. So this is how big it has to be to actually make it down here to Earth. Science, so we're safe. Sciencey things. <laughs> Casey Geraldo, thank you.